yesterday I posed a question that often arises in discussion about the sanctuary and its services. What was done on the Day of Atonement that symbolized the final removal of sin? In Leviticus chapter 16, verse 7 to 10, and especially verse 8, the Bible described the casting of a lot for two goats, one goat designated for the Lord, literally Yahweh's goat, and the other for Azazel, often referred to as the escape goat. The sanctuary services were both daily and yearly services. The daily services typically involved the sacrifice of a lamp, representing Christ's voluntary sacrifice for our salvation as echoed in the book of John chapter 1, verse 29. The yearly services, however, focus on two specific goat as detailed in Leviticus 16. One goat was sacrificed as the Lord's offering, intended for atonement and reconciliation of the people with God. The high priest would take the blood of this goat inside the veil of the sanctuary, sprinkling it on and before the mercy seat to atone for the sins of the people. In contrast, the second goat, known as the Azazel, a scapegoat, was not sacrificed, nor was its blood shed. This goat was used in a unique part of the rituals that followed the atonement. The high priest will place the sins of Israel upon this live goat, which was then sent away into the wilderness by a strong man. This act did not involve atonement through bloodshed, but it was a symbolic removal of sin from the community, taking them to uninhabited land. It is crucial to clarify a common misunderstanding by our non-Adventist friend. The escape goat does not atone for the sins of Israel. The only goat that provide atonement was the one sacrificed as the Lord's offering. The role of the scapegoat solely to symbolically bear the sins away into isolation. Adventists, among other biblical scholars, interpret the scapegoat as representing Satan, who is ultimately held accountable for his part in the presence of sin in our world. However, it is important to emphasize that Adventists firmly believe that Christ alone, through his sacrifice, atoned for humanity's sins. The escape God function is to symbolically carry the sins away, indicating Satan's eventual defeat and obsolete isolation of sin itself. Christ alone, who shed his blood, and sacrifice himself on Calvary is recognized as the true atonement for sin, fulfilling the deepest spiritual needs of humanity and offering complete redemption. This pers perspective aligns with biblical assertion from Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22, without the shedding of blood. There is no forgiveness. This understanding of the Day of Atonement and the distinct role of the two goats help clarify that the path to redemption is through Christ's sacrifice alone. The escape goat's role is not redemptive, but rather signify the final handling of sin, reinforcing the message that evil and its origin will ultimately be removed from affecting God's creation. And that is the nugget. Thank you for studying with me and I will see you tomorrow.